Dolphin Logger is a lightweight proxy server that sits between your LLM client application and various LLM APIs including OpenAI, Olama, Anthropic, etc. to automatically log all your conversations and interactions in JSON-L format for dataset creation. There could be other use cases too. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get this Dolphin Logger installed and integrated with Olama and then we will also see how you can do the dataset generation. This tool maintains full open AI API compatibility that enables you to simply point your existing LLM clients to the proxy server which could be running on any of the port instead of the original API while the proxy handles a routing request to the appropriate backend services based on your configuration and transparently logs all request response pairs to create training data set from your LLM usage patterns. Let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I am going to use this Ubuntu server and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to use Olama based model. I already have Olama installed and I have this Gwen 3 model running in 32 billion but of course you can go with any of the Olama model you like. For that just go to olama.com and then from there go to the models and select it from there. Now if you don't know how to download the models, how to install Olama. Just go to my channel, search with Olama. I have literally done 100 or maybe more than thousands of videos on Olama alone and I'm not exaggerating. So please check it out and Olama is one of the easiest tools to run a large language model in quantized or in full format locally. So as you can see, I already have this Quen3 model running. Let me first create a virtual environment with Conda and you can go with Python virtual environment, Py and or UV or whatever you like. And now let me git clone the repo of this dolphin logger and I'm seeding into it. Once you have done that, all you need to do is to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. You can also install it through simple pip command. While it installs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you will find their link in video's description too. And the installation is done. As I said earlier, it is pretty lightweight. Now the first step you need to do after the installation is to initialize this dolphin logger what initialize does it creates the necessary configuration directory and a default configuration file which you can readily use so let me run this and once you initialize that you can also check the configuration file path and you can see that by just specifying the config it is showing me this config path now let me populate it with my olama model so you see that i am giving it this olama model and then this is a provider model here as i said you can mention anthropic you can mention open ai and there are various other providers you can mention here but of course if you go with any providers like open ai or anthropic that will be the paid option and you would need to also get the api key from their respective provider let me now open this uh, dolphin logger in VS code this directory just to show you how this looks like. So you can see that when you open this example file which we have just populated and that now resides in this um, dot dolphin log logger directory in our home directory. So you can specify anthropic openai and there are a few other providers which you can select. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Let me go back to my terminal and clear it. And then you can simply validate it with the validate command. There you go. So everything looks okay at the moment. And now you can serve this dolphin logger on your local host by running this dolphin logger server command. You can see that it has checked 
everything which looks good it has loaded one model and this is where this proxy server is running and it is ready you can ignore this warning now uh, i will let this one run and i will just open another terminal window from there you can first check the health of it by just curling to the same port of the server you can see that it is telling us that everything is nice healthy and sweet let's also check which models are present just a server api and you can see that it has told us it is running olama server which is quen 3 model you can run any other model as i said like dolphin code stroll or whatever you like now let me show you this in action i will clear the screen what i'm going to do i'm just going to make it a bit smaller i will put it on the right hand side and i will also grab the other one now if you look here it, the server is showing you that uh, 200 uh, status code which means request was successful now what i'm going to do i'm just going to use this curl command uh, and then you can see that i'm just asking it hello can you tell me about yourself so i will just let it run and you see that it is proxying the rest uh, request from i'm calling this 5001 right but it is proxying my request to olama based model and meanwhile it is also logging all the conversation to its own logs directory which i will show you shortly but you see it has given me the response and uh, the response is just on the terminal but it, this proxy server has also logged it how good is that and as many times as you run it it is going to use this file the json l file and if you have watched my data set video you know that this is the preferred format for the data set so for instance if i just go here and clear the screen and maybe i'll just do more here and show you that file there you go so you see i'll just go up so this is a json l format where each record is in the json format on a new line you see so this was a i'll just go up a little bit this was the first row this is the second row so no matter how many conversations you do with it it just creates a new record with a unique id which you can readily use in your data set so um, this is quite useful when it comes to model training fine tuning where all your interactions with your llm can be logged here now this is of course a main use case but you know what i think that if you are using it in any production environment this proxy server given it's very lightweight open source you can use it for security purposes and audit purposes too um, instead of for example if you have a olama model running in your local system or any other model users are accessing it on any api endpoint instead of giving the user direct access to that endpoint you can proxy their request with this dolphin logger to that api endpoint and you can log everything you can redirect those logs to any other telemetry based system maybe uh, grafana and that sort of stuff and you can just do some auditing on uh, top of it i mean there could be a lot of use cases for this tool so i'm very very impressed by this tool and by the way this tool is from cognitive computing um, eric hartford and i have been covering a lot of models for example if you go to my channel you just search with dolphin you will see that i have um, not this one this is a byte test dolphin but this one dolphin 3 um, and then you know the dolphin 3 r1 there are a lot of stuff which i have covered in fact i think i covered one model just yesterday from cognitive computing so if you are interested check it out i'll quickly show you so i'll just go here and i'll just show you where exactly that model was so this one uh quen 372 uh, one so this is where you can scale the models so pretty interesting project if you're interested so that's it if you like the video please like it share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot and that is only marketing i do so i would highly appreciate that thank you very much